the Success Factors 2022 second half release is out. I am going to share my favorite enhancement from Employee Central from this release. So what is it? Stick around and find out. So my favorite thing from this release isn't even touted as one of the major enhancements, um, but to me, this one uh, really uh, it will be extremely beneficial for Employee Central customers. So uh, what it is, is actually something that's already in existence in Success Factors, which is the Hire Date Correction Tool. Um, this tool has been out for a while. Uh, unfortunately, it only worked uh, to adjust your hire dates if the hire was in the future, uh, which was a huge uh, limitation on its functionality. But now, as you're going to see, this functionality is something that is available not just for future dated hires, but also ones for the present or in the past. So I'm going, I'm going to take you through an example here. And as you see here, uh, if you'll key off, you'll notice that all of the dates for, the, for Darren Demo are effective on uh, April 27th, um, which of course is in the past. Uh, as of the time of this recording, and I am going to now be able to use the hire date correction tool uh, in order to make this date uh, be adjusted. So I'm going to adjust this to May 2nd. So I choose or I type in hire date correction from the uh, action bar, and as you'll see here, that takes me here. I go to create new, and then I do hire date correction. Uh, I'm going to create a name, and so this one's going to be ddemo52. Um, name really doesn't matter that much, but of course now I need to select the employee that's going to be uh, adjusted, and you can see the current hire date is selected there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch this to May 2nd. Press save, and again, um, I'm just changing it five days, but I'm extending it five days or, or adjusting it five days, but in the past. Again, this was not something that was available before, but now you can see not only does it go in and it's going to manually up or, or before you would have to manually update job information and then all of the other portlets here, I'm going to, you can see here from this detailed log, it automatically is going to update all the portlets for me. Um, so when I go in and I look at this log, you can see here, it's going to show me all of the portlets that have been automatically updated. So home, uh, uh, you know, the job relationships, personal info, uh, global info, all of these have been updated um, uh, automatically. Again, very simple, something that um, administrators will really appreciate as opposed to having to uh, manually figure all this out. So now uh, I'm just going to show my results here. And as you'll see, um, the effective date on all these portlets is now May 2nd. So the organizational information has been updated. And then uh, the other thing that's really important is the uh, most recent hire date or hire date, depending on your system, is set to May 2nd as well. Again, that automatically gets updated through this process. And then if you go down to the personal information, um, you'll see uh, nothing but May 2nd as well. I'm going to go in and show you the address and show the, the, that that date has been shifted. And then, of course, your compensation. Um, very important that that gets uh, adjusted as well. So this, uh, everything has been shifted from uh, April, 27th, uh, April 27th to May 2nd. Obviously, there's things to think through on this as far as downstream interfaces and things like that, but it's uh, a huge uh, benefit for existing customers uh, that you have this capability uh, where before uh, it was only for future dated uh, records. So yeah, so that is it. That is my favorite thing from the second half release. I uh, hope you enjoy this plus all the other things that are coming uh, as part of the release.